Hello everyone, this is Kyle from KyleLivingInKorea.com and today's click tip will be about how to access websites that are restricted in Korea. Sometimes there will be you know, instances where you have to access a website from outside of Korea, like for some reason Hulu is blocked, you know, Netflix, Pandora, we all know those are blocked. Um, and I recommended this Chrome extension called Media Hint if you just want to watch Hulu, Netflix, BBC content, whatever it might be. Uh, Media Hint was working well. I was just using it for Hulu and Netflix today. Pandora also works usually. Um, I never had any problems with that. But today I want to talk, talk to you guys about ProXPN, which is a VPN or virtual private network. And what this does is, is allows you to use websites that are either blocked or restricted in Korea. And for instance, it might be if you're trying to buy from a store in the States or an iTunes store in the States, whatever it might be. Um, you have to use, have to make sure it looks like your computer is not in Korea. And it might sound shady and it's not. Actually, I heard about this uh, from this really reputable company called Twit to Twit Network. I'm sure you guys have heard of this before. It's a podcasting network um, all about tech. So it's t t This Week in Tech is what Twit stands for. And um, their, their daily news show is called Tech News Today. And they were being sponsored by, by this company here. Um, uh, Pro XPN, you can go down here and use their code. I'm not being sponsored by them or anything. I just wanted to give other foreigners here in Korea uh, a good option because it is hard to find a reputable VPN company. And Pro XPN so far has been great, and uh, it comes from Twit, so I know it's been vetted and it's safe. They actually have it for mobile as well, which is really great because when you use it for mobile, if you ever want to watch Hulu or Netflix on your iPad or phone, you can actually put Pro XPN on your phone and it's really simple. They have a really great tutorial with photos and everything. And it's a few steps and uh, you'll, you'll be able to put it on any iPhone, iPad, or Android device. The price isn't bad at all. Uh, $6.25 a month without the the code. This is actually, they actually charge monthly uh, every six months or annually. Uh, when I did it annually with the code, it was only $60 for the year. I think otherwise it's around 5 or $7 a month, which is not bad at all. Um, they actually give you the options to connect to uh, IP addresses in the states. They have Dallas, New York, Seattle, Los Angeles. Uh, they have a UK address out of London, Singapore, which is closer to here, which is good for us too, and Amsterdam. Uh, I'll go into this in a minute, but those are the options that you get when you do sign up for ProXPN. Um, to use the mobile, to use it on mobile, you need the premium account, which I said it's still really cheap. Um, so you can watch Hulu, Netflix, and stuff on your phone as well uh, when you set up that VPN. Other examples of using ProXPN besides just for Hulu or Netflix or some video service is just making it look like your computer is not in Korea so you can shop at stores. Uh, for example, about six months ago I was trying to buy the Nexus 4 like, like you see here. And now they have the store opened up to Korea because they do sell the phone in Korea. But at the time, they didn't sell the phone in Korea. And I had to make it look like my computer wasn't in Korea. And I had to give it a VPN in the States to buy the phone. Um, I had to use some shady one I wasn't too happy with. So I just installed it for the moment to buy the phone. And then I uninstalled it. Which is, you know, you're putting your, your, your secure information over there. Your credit card data and all that stuff. Um, that's why I, I like ProXPN because it is vetted, um, you know, and all that. So... That's just an instance. I'm sure you've run into a, a, a instance in the past where a site has been blocked or you couldn't use it because you were in Korea. So I'm going to show you how to use ProXPN and how the and how simple it is. Um, you don't have to know any behind the end stuff. You don't have to be tech savvy. It's super simple to use. All right. So for example, I'm going to go to Hulu right now just to give you an example of what it looks like. So Hulu.com is probably going to tell me I'm, it's restricted. Let's see, I haven't been here in a while on un unrestricted. So I'll just try to play this video here and see what happens. All right, so it says here, we're sorry, you know, right here it says, we're sorry, you're currently, you know, it's only streamed within the United States. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and in the upper right corner, once you download ProXPN, it will download this icon here. And, you know, it's, that's really simple. I'll walk you through it. And you can connect to any location you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and do Los Angeles. And you'll see this icon here will change from red to yellow and then finally to green. All right, so now the icon has turned green. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Hulu Plus again. I'm going to refresh the screen. I'm going to click on the same play button here, the same video. And now it works. And now you see here it's just buffering up a little bit. But you can choose, you know, when you sign up for ProXPN, the premium account, you'll have unlimited bandwidth. Um, what I was doing before, I was just buffering a little bit. It's not as fast. It's not going to be as fast as your, you know, in Korea, you get like 50 megabytes down, 40 megabytes down, whatever it might be. Uh, using a VPN, you're gonna, it's going to be slower. It's just, that's just how VPNs work. It has to go back and forth and travel the distance. And that's why they give you 
location options. Maybe some will be faster than the others. Another great option is Google Voice. It actually gives you a phone number outside of the states, and I'll actually do another video on that one day. Um, but I actually have a Google Voice number, which is, you know, when I signed up for Google Voice, it gave me the option to pick a, a number from any state I wanted to. So even if you're from Canada or the states or whatever it might be, if you're using Skype right now to call it, Google Voice is absolutely free. So I recommend using that. So I'll show you how to use uh, Pro XPN and Google Voice to set up a Google Voice number here in the state or here in Korea so you can have a, a stateside phone number for free and it costs nothing. You just call on your computer and uh, that's what I've been using the whole time I've been over here. So that's it for now. Just a quick little tip about how to make it look like your computer is not in Korea for whatever reason you might need that for. If you are happy with it, you can use this promo code uh, here I used off of the Twit Network and it brings it around $60 a year if that's how you pay. Um, if you have any questions, let you know go to KyleLivingInKorea.com and leave a message in the comments, or just write me a message on the contact page, and I'll be happy to answer any questions or problems you might have. All right, thanks for watching.